Zapier is great. It connects more than 4,000 apps between each other, which is amazing, but it can get super, super expensive. And this is where N8N comes in. So Notemation is one of the best tools I found in the last months. So make sure to use that instead of Zapier. It's free, it's fair code, which is amazing and means that you can use it for your business. So if you want to build your own server and only pay five to 10 euros a month for unlimited automations and connections between apps and APIs, then use NNN. First things first, you need a server. So move over to hetzner.com, which is, in my opinion, the best server cloud platform which you can use. You can use my affiliate link, then you get 20 euros for free. I don't get money for that. I only get credits for that. Use hardmode.io slash hetzner. And this redirects you to Hetzner, gives you your 20 euros credit. Okay, make your account and then you get here to your Hetzner console. If you're not in here, you should go to cloud and inside the cloud, you can create a new project and inside your project, you can add your server. So just pick the location, Falkenstein, pick your image. I'm going to use Ubuntu 2004 and then choose your server. I recommend choosing CPX 21, which is quite nice and fast and big and good enough. And I will enable backups. And lastly, I will just give it a name, create and buy. Then I see it's 828 per month, which is incredibly cheap compared to a bigger Zapier account. And then you get two things. You get first your IP address and the other thing is you get your server. So let's copy this IP address and head over to our DNS. So you need a domain in order to have something on the internet, <laughs> which you can put into your browser to show you the program. So get your domain name and then we build the following a record. So I'm going here into my DNS. You can use Namecheap, you can use Route 53, you can use Google, you can use whatever you want to register your domain. So make sure to do that. And then go into your DNS where you have all your domain name system records and create a new a record. So let's click here, create record and make sure it's an a type because this routes traffic to some server. And then I will call the record name. So this is my subdomain for this server. And the value is going to be the IP address. And then I just create the records. So this takes a few minutes. And from there, we can build our actual server. So let's get into here. Then I go to rescue because I don't know my root password. I don't know how Hetzner is actually doing this. Maybe you get some email with a root password. This is the fastest way for me. So I really like doing that. So I will click here on root password and reset because I never did anything with it. So I can just reset it. And then I have to reset the password here, which I can copy. Write this down, put it in some password safe like KeyPass or MacPass or whatever and save it. But first, let's check if it works. So the next thing is we are connecting to the server via the terminal. So I will just hit command and space on Mac. This gives me my spotlight search where I can just put in terminal and inside my terminal, I can connect to the outside world. You have this available on Mac and on Linux. If you're on Windows, just download PuTTY for Windows, then you get basically the same tool. So go to PuTTY Windows and download PuTTY. So inside the terminal, I will just type SSH root at, and then I copy the super neat. I just click on the IP address and it copies it for me into the clipboard. So I will just copy this and put it in. Then it asks me if I really want to add this fingerprint. Yes, I am sure. So I want to connect to the server and then it asks me for the password. So I head over to Hetzner again, click on the password, copy it 
and put it in. So let's see if it works. It doesn't work, which is funny, but sometimes that happens when you reset your password. So I reset it again, it's reset it, I copy it and I put it in and it works. Nice. So now I am here inside my NetN tutorial server. So as soon as we're inside our server, we head over to the NetN docs. I will just put this link in the description. So copy these first three lines. You can put them in all at once or one after the other. The problem with all at once can be that sometimes not all of the lines are going to execute. Okay, these three ones, and then we find Ubuntu 2004. Then we take this line and put the last lines in one after the other. Nice, then we take apt update and apt upgrade. And then to app install docker. And then I will just skip step two. You can do this if you want. And then I will just copy these two lines and put them in. Make sure both lines are executed and without errors. DNS setup, we did this already beforehand. And now let's create the Docker Compose YAML file. So let's copy all this stuff and create a file. So let's clear and write nano docker-compose.yml and put in all that stuff. Before we move out of that file, we put in this line as well at the very bottom. And now I hit Control O to write the file and Control X to quit the editor. So now I'm here and now we need to create the environments file. So the environments file gives us the possibility to define our environment variables like username, user password and so on and so forth. So copy all that, create a new file, nano.env and put in all the stuff here. So one line after the other. So we need to change the domain name which would be your domain in your case. Then the subdomain in my case is NLN tutorial. And here we have the username. You can choose your username and the password. So choose a really safe password. You can change the time zone if you wish. And you can put in an email address which gets notified when something is not working with your Certificate, please don't put in my email address because I'm so sorry. I honestly don't care if your SSL certificate is not working. So if I get your <laughs> certification notifications, I just delete them. So make sure to put in your email address. I just say that because I get a lot of <laughs> notifications from other people. So write the file exit and now we need to create the data folder. So this is the folder where NetN puts all the data. After that, we can start our Docker containers. So copy this line, go to the terminal and now it's pulling the latest NetN. Okay, nice. As soon as this is done, you can head over to your browser and put in your domain NetN tutorial.hubmodep.com and then tutorial.hubmodep.com and this gives you the setup. So usually you will get your prompt message first where you need to put in the user and the password from your environments table and then you can set up your user here. So I will just do this quickly and we're good to go. So I can put in all this stuff and then I'm inside NLN. So I can start my new workflows from here. If you want to know how to create a workflow, just click here on the next video. There we are connecting WooCommerce with Modic via NLN, which is amazing. So make sure to watch this video and we see each other in the next one.